Okay guys, welcome again. Today I will discuss about SSH or Secure Shell. Tilenet and SSH are two common protocols for remote access, which allows you to connect to and control another computer over a network. Remote access can be useful for various purposes such as administration, troubleshooting, file transfer, or remote work. However, these protocols have different features, security levels, and limitations that you should consider before using them. In this video, you will learn about the advantages and disadvantages of using SSH for remote access. As we discussed about Trialnet, it was developed in the early days of the internet. Trialnet is widely supported by various operating systems and devices, and it is easy to use and configure. The biggest disadvantage of Trialnet is it is lack of security. Trialnet does not encrypt the data that is sent or received which means that anyone who can monitor the network can see everything that you type or read, including passwords, comments, and files. So what is SSH? SSH stands for Secure Shell. The default port for SSH client connection is 22, and it is a protocol that also allows you to communicate with another computer using a text-based interface. However, SSH has some features that make it more secure and versatile than Telnet. SSH encrypts the data that is exchanged between the computers, preventing anyone from intercepting or modifying it. Also supports authentication, which means that you need to provide a password or a key to access the remote computer. SSH can also tunnel other protocols such as FTP through its encrypted connection allowing you to transfer files or run graphical applications remotely. SSH also authenticates the remote computer and the user ensuring that you are connecting to the right host and that only authorized users can access it and compress the data which can improve the performance and bandwidth usage of the connection. One of the disadvantages of SSH is its complexity and configuration. Requires some software and settings to use and it may not be compatible with some older or simpler devices. Also requires some knowledge and skills to use properly such as generating and managing keys, choosing encryption algorithms, or troubleshooting errors. SSH can also be slower than Telnet since it has some encryption and authentication overhead. So, as you see the diagram, in this diagram I will configure the SSH protocol. This host connected to my local computer the IP address is 192.168.10.10. Let's check it. See, this adapter connected to the GNS3 host. And the IP address is 192.168.10.10. And the other side, we have router in remote area and also connected to the internet. This computer or my local computer have access to this router via internet. So, I want to use SSH protocol to have remote access to the router and change some configuration or controlling the router. First, you should configure the router and enable SSH protocol on the router. Verify that the router supports SSH using the show IP SSH common. If the common is not recognized, you know that SSH is not supported. Go to global config mode, change the hostname, hostname for example remote router, set the username and password, 
username for example cisco secret123 and also set the enable password enable secret1234 also configure a dns domain name with the ip domain name for example cisco.com also configure the router using the crypto key generate rsa command to generate an rsa key pair and automatically enable ssh cisco recommends a minimum module size of 1024 bits as you see also enable line vty and configure the switch to accept only ssh connections with the transport input ssh the default is transport input is telnet exit in global configuration mode enable ssh version 2 ip ssh version 2 IP SSH authentication retrace 5 IP SSH timeout 60 and to verifying in the enable mode type show IP SSH now the configuration of the SSH on the router are done so this is my local computer and I want to access remotely via SSH to the router. As you see, in my local computer, first I want to check the connectivity between my computer and the router. Go to in the CMD and ping the router 192.168.10.255. The connection between my local computer and remote router is ok and I wanna use SSH to access remotely to the router and control the router remotely. You can use any tools like TerraTerm or PuTTY. Right now I am using PuTTY. Open this tool and choose the SSH option. Type the host name or IP address of the remote device and then type the username of the remote device and also the password enter the enable password now I have full access to the remote router and I can modify any configuration remotely for example show run and config I hope this information is useful to you and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.